How's it going, YouTube Universe or YouTube Reverse or however? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm back here again. This is Rob. It's my lady D. Hi. Hi, everybody. This time we're going to try a different format. So we're actually going to review a movie that we watched uh, about a couple weeks ago. It's Tyler Perry's Acrimony. I like it. Yeah, he did. so. Yeah, so we're kind of on two opposing sides of the spectrum. Uh, we're actually going to break down uh, what we liked about the movie, uh, what we didn't like about the movie, why D actually loved the movie, and why I didn't like it. Um, so if you if you guys know Tyler Perry, he's just known for making a lot of he's he ha has a lot of movies under his belt. I think he probably man to probably directed like fifty movies by now. Um. And each one, I've just kind of, me personally, I've just felt really indifferent on a lot of his movies um, from what I've seen. I haven't seen all of them, but the ones I've seen, I'm just kind of like, okay, this is cool, I guess. Uh, now, this lady, however. And I've just she, noticed that a lot of straight men don't like Tyler Perry. Um, I don't know why. I'm still trying to understand why. Maybe some of you men in the comments can... Can Lee can tell tell me why? Just explain why a lot of you straight men don't like um, Tyler Perry. Uh, it's not just like white; it's black also. So I just want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, that was our little thing. So the so pretty much uh, for those who haven't seen the movie yet, uh, it's basically about. So the whole movie is pretty much about this this couple. They basically meet each other. Uh, in, college. in college, and they known each other since then. Um, uh, what was the 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 guy in there? Was name like Bryce or something like that? Yeah. So yeah, Bryce. He's basically what he's trying to do is he's trying to fulfill his dream to create a self charging battery. And uh, so it, it, and. Taraji P. Henson's character, I'll just call her Taraji P. Henson's right. character, I don't remember her name. But Taraji P. Henson's character basically hooks up with him in college, they hit it off, uh, and then what happens is she, uh, one night she comes across him cheating on her with another woman, uh, and then she pretty much like, uh, she rams her, her Jeep into the side of his, his trailer pretty much toppling the trailer and them inside and uh it just it's a bunch of stuff that ensues you know they she has to she's basically taking care of him uh throughout because he won't get a job because well, he can't find a corporate job yeah he can't find it yeah because he basically keeps trying to um and there's actually a part that like really killed me in the movie when i thought about it after a while but so he he's basically trying to send this recommendation letter to this one company, you know, like this is like the only company that's you know that's in the world because you know he can't sell his idea to somebody else. So he spends like twenty years sending his letter to the same person. And after I thought about it, I was like, that that really was good for him. Like, wait, what? So it's just it, it's just stuff like that. I don't know. It's just uh. I don't know if I just look too far into stuff at times. Always. But. Just like Corey on Double Toasted, always look too far. <laughs> always nitpicking and looking at the little things instead of the big picture. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, and for those who haven't seen it, I don't know, babe, are we going to spoil the movie on this review? It's been out for a while now. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's been out for a while. So we're spoiler probably, alert. Yeah, spoiler alert mm -hmm. ahead. So those who are Tyler Perry fanatics and y'all want to see this movie, don't watch any further. Don't watch this review any further. So pretty much what ends up happening is he doesn't they, they pretty much get older. They're like in their forties or something like that. And his his life hasn't moved anywhere. Her life basically they're showing that she, the whole time she was with him, she was miserable because he hasn't moved on. So because he hasn't moved on, she hasn't moved on. They're kind of stuck. They're, they're, their whole lives have been in a standstill for the past 20 years. 
after a while, she tells him, like, hey, you know, this self-charging battery ain't worth it. Um, why don't you, um, why don't you hang it up? Why don't you do something else? So he gets a job, which, okay, this part really threw me off, too. So he, so he, he stops doing that. He decides to get a job with her brother's moving company. And basically, they have this delivery they have to go to. So it's you know because you know in, in this universe apparently if if you screw up a delivery and yeah granted yeah it's a huge delivery that they can't miss but it's one delivery but because the because like Bryce didn't get the one delivery on time suddenly their whole entire company goes under like literally like he misses that one delivery so, because he missed that whole delivery, he tanks an entire company by himself, single-handedly. Uh, and all, and it's a reason why why he does it because his idea finally takes off. Um, I'm sorry, babe. I'm really talking about this review. Oh no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of summarizing a little bit too. I know she's gonna give her input, but it, yeah, basically, like yeah, so. He he uh he he basically if you guys didn't figure it out he gets his he gets his uh uh his thing off the ground basically his self charging battery so um so because of that he misses his delivery that he was supposed to get to this other big company this other huge client that his brother had and that's what causes the company his brother her brother's company to go under because he missed the he missed the delivery to go fulfill his dream uh so yeah, i don't know baby so like okay what did you now what did you like about this movie like what did you well, like you, so you missed a, well i'm glad you left out a lot cuz it's not too much of a spoiler but there's a reason why he went to work for um his her her family's company um because they, he spent up all the money and he did other things, but I don't want to spoil it too much for people who didn't see it. But um, the reason I liked, um, I did like um, all the characters I played in the movie. Um, awesome um, acting to me. Um, the movie was serious. Taraji P. Henson's character was vicious. Yeah, I, was I absolutely crazy, loved her. And um, the, movie, the movie has a big twist in it. Um, I really don't want to spoil that. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you have to go see the twist. Yeah, if I don't you think we'll seen go that it. far. Um, spoil it that much. Awesome twist because it'll make you hate one character and love the other, and then when the twist comes, it'll make you hate the other character and love the one character that you hated before. So um, I've always liked um, Tyler Perry movies because of the twist. It's not um, this one is different from his other ones. Like um, my two favorite Tyler Perry movies will always be um, I Can Do Battle By Myself, another, um, t I think Taraji P. Henson played in that. That was, yeah, that was another Taraji P. Henson. And then, um, it was another one. I like a, a few of his, I like uh, most of his movies, but it's just a couple that I really love. And I, I, of course, I love all his plays. That's never going to change. But I'm a Tyler Perry fan. Um, always she have really, been, always will really be. Is, She's got <laughs> I'm actually trying to figure out how to buy his entire collection of movies she's got a lot plays. of his movies already so yeah. and i will watch him like a thousand times yeah. if i have time to do it certainly um but this movie is um it's just awesome because um of the different personalities the different attitudes um the different um, um characters in the movie um had different roles and but they but it all came together it had an awesome storyline it actually made sense um, I don't know. I just, oh, that, I liked it. Um, about that green screen. What about that green oh, yeah, screen. The, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Corey Jr. over here from Double Toasted. I even looked at it too. I was like, why does that background look so fake? He want to pick out the little, like I said, nitpicking, pick out the little things. Okay. No, uh, every, every movie is not perfect. Pick, but here, <laughs> let me tell you a little shit. bit about his character. He is a big fan of um, Quentin Tarantino. So that I'll tell you about his character, or what type of person he is. So all of you Quentin Tarantino fans, I'm sorry if you're offended, but I'm not. Um, the only Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino movie Tarantino that I liked was Death Proof. That's She's it. Like we Death cut Proof, it off right there. Which I like that movie too. But yeah, but, uh, yeah we, just, we just, we do have different... Um, we have totally different tastes. So. Totally. But um, 
If I had to pick anything that I didn't like about the movie, I do agree with Corey about the ending. Um, kind of makes you kind of upset. Little, ending was a little crazy. I was like, yeah, because mm. yeah. like because like on the ending, like there's a part where like okay, I mean I don't want to seem like I'm ruined too much, but I guess like okay, yeah, I mean don't tell the part, but just tell it, why. It's it's a thing where one person gets from one place to another, and you're like, how, what, and they don't even explain it. It's just like, oh, let's let's keep shooting, whatever. So what I need, uh, Corey, and Corey Junior over here, also known <laughs> as Robert, to do, is just to let entertainment be entertainment. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hello. Uh, he's <laughs> like, I guess if you're like me, if you notice stuff like that, you're just kind of like, what. Like, there, hey, there was stuff in here I didn't. Hey, hey. They're called movie nerds, okay? Because the rest of us just watch it for entertainment. But that's for <laughs> movie nerds over here. Yeah, I, I just know. Like, uh, this is my thing with, you know, I, okay, I don't mean to hate on Tyler Perry so much, but this is my, this has always been my gripe with this dude. I, I think he's an amazing businessman. I seriously do. I, like, the, mm -hmm. the type of business that man does is great. I mean, what can you tell him at this point? You know, he directs his own movies, he writes his own movies, he produces his own movies. He has nobody over him telling him to do this, do that, do that. He has free reign. My problem with him is I think he probably does need people to tell him what to do because I I don't feel like I don't feel like he always knows what he's doing. But when it, it comes his, to make a movie. But you know the difference between a Tyler Perry movie and all the other movies. Like Yeah. He just has a certain to trademark to where you know, okay, yes, the Tyler Perry movie. Because I thought that, um, what was that one movie? Um, Not Easily Broken. I thought that was a Tyler Perry movie because it was something like something that Tyler Perry would do, but it's not. I thought, but, I, when I saw the trailer to Think Like a Man, I thought that was a Tyler Perry movie because that, right. that's more like his template. Because, yeah, so he has a trademark, and that's what I love about him. But let me tell you why I'm such a Tyler Perry fan because of where he came from. Like, he made. I mean, of course, with God's oh, yeah. help, he was but he made Louisiana something out of nothing. Car. He was sleeping on his car yeah. when he was discovered by Hollywood, and from there, it just went up. So he took what he was gifted with, and in spite of his circumstances and his situations, he used it to get to where he is now, and I'm going to forever be a Tyler Perry fan because of that, because yeah. of where he came from, because a lot of us don't do that. We, are, we, we still allow our circumstances and situations to determine where we are. I mean what what we can do in life. If we would quit limit if we would quit living limitless, then we could do what Tyler Perry is doing, what Jay Z has done with his yeah, life I'm trying and to get his to that story. Status too, so. That's and I'm trying to get yeah, there too. Whoever, so yeah. I'm trying to learn from them. Yeah, not, and yeah. that's why I love him so much. I mean I'm not going to say, uh, the only two movies I can honestly say that I don't, well, the only one movie that I don't like of his is Boo 2. Boo 1, I like, it was kind of cool. Um, Boo 2, no. And then I'm not a favorite of um, Meet the Browns movie. It's it's yeah. a good movie, but I'm just, that's, that's not my favorite. It's not one of my favorites. But, yeah, it's yeah, still. I just, I just noticed the bad acting. And, stuff and I absolutely, and then as much as people hate um, Alex Cross, I absolutely love Alex Cross. Oh, I love yeah. that movie. So it's <laughs> but, like there's nothing that you're gonna be able to say or do to make me not be a Tyler Perry fan. I don't care what happens. So yeah, because there's like, and I'm I'm looking at the budget on the the movie. I like you know I I just feel like this. I like I I I don't mean to hate on the man. I know the man's got like a. Uh, let's see. And I mean, everybody has um, their different opinions um, about everybody, but you know, as far as like producers and writers and yeah. um, screenplays and movies and like blahs, you know, just like he likes all the um, Marvel movies and things like that, like superhero movies. I'm not a superhero movie fan, but I won't go see it with them. But I'm just not a fan of yeah. Superhero she's movies. not a. Uh, she won't rush up to see like a Marvel movie. But I mean, she'll definitely go see him. Or DC, what's the other one? DC. DC what? is other, yeah. DC. Uh, yeah, so DC and Marvel uh, movies and yeah, stuff I'm sorry, like that. Sorry, my eyes are watering real bad. So, okay, now 
so on a twenty million dollar budget, Acrimony made forty five point eight million dollars at the box office. So he so made his money back. You know, he, he got a profit. He, yeah, you know, he he does that. He makes his movies for cheap, and they have to turn them for a profit. So I mean, because that's what your fans like me, like I, yeah, it's funny yeah, when I say it, but like because people um people say that his movies are so horrible, but then I'll just tell you like stupid people like me. I just gonna keep going out and see him because I love Tyler Perry. Like I don't care oh, yeah, what anyone says. Base. Like yeah. what anyone says about Tyler Perry, I, not... I will support him always. Exactly. And no, I'm not gonna. If I'm gonna bootleg any of his movies, I'll bootleg it after I see it in the theaters. Like I'll pay first, and then if I bootleg it. But I don't mean I don't bootleg right. a lot. I'll, I'll accept the bootlegs, but I don't bootleg movies. Yeah, because he definitely got our money. We pay. We definitely paid him this time. Sure did. Uh, Matter of fact, I paid. We paid. For four people, it was two of us and then another couple. So oh, yeah. we paid all together, honestly, like forty some dollars to go see his movie. Yeah, see so we were part of that uh, forty-five million dollar budget <laughs> that, yeah, he, exactly. that he made exactly. <laughs> a profit. You know, so, so I can't, I can't be mad at the man. You know, he turns his profit. I just, I didn't really like this movie. Um, you know, and uh, it, it's just for reasons like I. <laughs> it's just it's certain scenes <laughs> it's certain scenes that I caught I just didn't really care for uh didn't care for that and then I didn't really care for the acting was the acting was kind of on and off for me like there was moments where I thought it was good and there was moments where I was like okay man y'all can, y'all can like tone it down like a couple notches now the one part um, that I will agree with you and Corey on is the part where um, the same girl that he had an affair with when she when he was younger, when they were younger, is the same girl that ended up in a company that he's been trying to get into. Yeah, that was now weird. that was kind of like that corny, was but way it was too cute. coincidential. <laughs> it I was, was cute, like, though. Yeah, I was like, so yeah, exactly. Like the girl that you cheated on later on, so happened. Now, not to mention, this is like a twenty-year span. So out of nowhere, the same company he's been writing to. So happens to have the girl that he was cheating on his wife with so, that got him to the I'll give you and Corey that one. Y'all can like, have that one. What? <laughs> yeah. Because I was, at first, I was like tripping too. Because when I first seen her, I was like, is that the same girl that. I, I, I had like, to think about it. I was like, Come That was kind of corny, man, but it was, was cute though. It I was. Like was. It. I was like, it was a little, little too much of a coincidence there. Um, and if he talked, if he talked too much about Tyler Perry, we're going to have a Tyler Perry. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, we gonna right. uh, what's that? Uh, movie session up in this mug. Let him yeah, keep talking. Exactly. Movies and plays. Let him keep talking <laughs> about so, Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it, it, like so. Yeah, I. I mean, she liked the movie. I didn't. Um, it. I mean, it's it's a Tyler Perry movie. So you you saw that trailer. And you saw Tyler Perry's name on it. You're either gonna go see it or you're not gonna go see it. That's pretty much where it's yeah. at. Um, and like I said um, before, um, when you after you watch this, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section about yeah. why you do or do not like Tyler Perry, I really appreciate it because I just want to. I'm just curious. So Robert's yeah. gonna start it off. Why Why do you think straight men don't like Tyler Perry? Um, I. Uh, I think because a lot of, a lot of them, and from what I've gathered, a lot of them tell me that those movies just aren't for us. Um, that's what they usually tell me. Um, the way I feel is I try to, I don't try to look at all movies like that. I try to look at them objectively. Um, like either, either pick out the movie is good or the movie's just bad based on what I Based on my opinion and what I think about it. But have you ever like liked or disliked a movie because of who the writer is or the producer or the director or anybody? Honestly? I, you know, okay, it's like this. I've been I, I've been cautious about movies based on who the writer and the director is. So like, if if like if if they say Uwe Boll is coming out with a new movie and we know from from a movie geeks out there. You know, Uwe, Uwe Boll is considered one of the worst directors in Hollywood. So, like, I know, like, if he's coming out with a movie, to to stay away from it. 
So, so one more question. So if say like a movie movies just came out and it didn't have the writer, producer, or director or anybody on it, and you just saw the movie, would you still have the same opinion about the movie if you knew the director and didn't know the director? Yeah, you I'd honestly still, have still have the same opinion. I still, I still have an honest opinion about it. Okay, and what if about they, you all out there? Do you, do you yeah. dish or dislike a movie based on a director and a producer and a writer? And if that, if you didn't know who the who those were, any of those were, would you still have the same opinion about the movie? Leave your leave it in the comments because I'm I'm really curious. Yeah, and then I have a question too. Also, um, if you do have a favorite Tyler Perry movie, what is your favorite Tyler Perry? Oh, movie? good question. Yeah. Um, for for all the wrong reasons, my my favorite movie is Temptation. For for the wrong reasons, I don't even want to know. Cause I, after this camera go off, I will be choking him. How about that? Um, I'm gonna be back with um a review on Breaking In with Gabrielle Union. Yeah. It's okay, movie. I went to go see it, but he yes. didn't. But he can still be on it. Yeah, I'll still be on it. She and, saw it, and I didn't. So. And we're both gonna be back with um. Our Deadpool 2 Deadpool review. Deadpool 2 review. Because we did see Deadpool 2. So we'll tell you what we thought but about that. Right now, I'm ready for a smoothie. Me too. From Berry Blends. Me too. So we got to go. Sounds Love good. you that's guys. Two that's Subscribe. One thing we, exactly. Subscribe. And that's one thing we actually agree on. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys.